How's it going, everybody? This is Robin of Cast back with another video. Now, with this one, I think it's more going to, or if anything, it's just going to be an observation of uh, a couple of videos from K9 Aversion. Because I've been wanting to talk about this for quite a while, and I think now would probably be the best time to discuss it. So, anyway, if you were to type in K9 Aversion's videos, or at least type in her channel on YouTube, I should say. Either typing in K9 Aversion or as she calls herself now, even though I don't agree with the name compared to, you know, the person who runs the channel. Defenders of Humans in the Natural World. There's a couple of videos that are like, that have been uploaded within the last couple months. And they mostly focus on hummingbirds. And in a couple of the videos, she classifies the hummingbirds as her emotional support bird. Now, something really interesting is her, I guess, argument, or if anything, her disdain for people having dogs as emotional support animals. In fact, she denounces it, claiming that dogs cannot be emotional support animals. And, you know with several of her videos goes on ranting and raving for 20 minutes about how dogs in her eyes can't be cl uh, classified as an emotional support animal. But even though looking at some definitions, an emotional support animal is a type of animal that provides comfort to help relieve a symptom or effect of a person's disability, which is under US law and an emotional support animal is not a pet and is generally not restricted by species. Golf clap. Golf clap. So I think it's safe to say that when it comes to having an emotional support animal, if she can consider a hummingbird as a uh, quote unquote emotional support animal, then by the way, by the legal definition, or at least when it comes down to definitions in places like Wikipedia, um, then people are allowed to have dogs as a emotional support animal. Heck, they can even have a, a freaking snake if they wanted to. Or a random squirrel, doesn't matter. Again, by U.S. law, or at least especially for the U.S., since you know this is where I'm getting my information for, um... Any animal can be considered can be considered as a emotional support animal. I'm I'm sure it's probably different for you know Canada, but I'm pretty sure it might be in the same you know vein as what the U.S. has to deal with. But again, when it comes down to it, um, Canada version continuously tries to denounce situations of you know people having dogs, heck even cats as emotional support animals even though even though when it comes down to emotional support animals uh, dogs are more common as an emotional support animal than any other animal which again makes no sense of why she's trying to denounce it but again we have to bring into you know bring up the fact that she allows her own delusional fear to get the best of her and unfortunately can't think for reason of any situation involving these animals. So when it comes down to it, or at least with this quick rebuttal, again, emotional support animals can be any animal. There's no restriction of species. So with that canine aversion, loosen up. And if anything, just, just stop. Just stop. What are your thoughts? I'm going to end it here. What are your thoughts? Love to hear what you guys have to say. I know uh, there's a couple of people who may be fans of hers who might want to come on my channel and try to say shit, which so far people have been shutting them down. But I would love to hear what you guys have to say either way, because it's always amusing. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you guys want to follow us on social media, links are in the description down below. As well as check out our daily content and the weekly podcast. With that being said, this is Rob Novacast signing off. Have a good one. Take care. Peace.